For the past couple of days, I've noticed that GPT-4 has been giving me worse and worse output when performing simple tasks. While the opposite is happening for GPT-3.5, it's giving me much better output for the same task. So in today's video, I wanted to do a comparison between GPT-3.5 16K and GPT-4 to see if GPT-3.5 Turbo 16K is actually much better at performing tasks compared to GPT-4. Now, I've done some research on why this is happening, and this seems to be happening not only for myself, but for other users. And this article notes the drift and the significant reduction in the performance of GPT-4. So it says here that GPT-4's accuracy has plunged from 97.6% to 2.4% from March to June, while its response length has dropped by over 90%. And I've experienced this myself. I found that when you're um, performing simple tasks like generating outlines and things of that nature, we're getting much lower outputs in terms of quantity compared to what we used to get before. And the opposite is true for GPT 3.5, while the accuracy has risen from 7.4 to 86%, and the verbosity has increased over 40%. So it's interesting to see that GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K is getting much better, while GPT 4 seems to be getting much worse. I'm not entirely sure why that's happening, but let's go ahead and do some comparisons between these two models. Firstly, I've asked GPT 4 to write me an in depth and comprehensive blog post about how to become a better door to door salesman. I am using the playground mode. This is where you can play around with the API for GPT 4 and GPT 3.5. And I'll also be testing this on ChatGPT's interface. So this was the article that we got back from ChatGPT. We did get a nice table of contents. They did um, include some tables and some lists. I do like, I do like the format of this article, but it's only about 514 words, and that's GPT-4. Now I've run the same output on GPT-3.5 Turbo 16K, as you can see here, and I've asked it to do the same thing and to write me an article. Now, this article, again, isn't the greatest by GPT 3.5, but it is a little bit longer, so we get about 150 more words, but the format, again, isn't as good as GPT 4, so that's one of the major differences I still see. GPT 4 is much better at writing in tables, lists, and creating charts, so that is something that I do have to give GPT 4, but um, we are able to get much longer outputs with GPT 3.5. So that was for the first test. The second test, I asked it to generate the outline first for the same article and then write the full article. So this is GPT 4. This is the outline in which it was able to generate for that topic about how to become a better salesman. So a pretty decent and comprehensive blog post outline. And if we scroll down, we'll be able to see the full article. It's a little short. Again, it's about 534 words, how to excel at door-to-door -door sales, understanding door-to-door -door sales, essential skills, tips for improving, and a conclusion. So again, as you can see, a pretty short um, article from GPT-4. And again, I've run the same output on GPT-3.5. We have the same um, prompt here and we have the outline from GPT 3.5 and as you can see it seems to be a little bit more in-depth compared to GPT um, 4. GPT 4 only has about three subsections for its um, specific outlines while we have a little bit more subsections from GPT 3.5 and if we scroll down this is the full article that we got back as you can see here this article is a lot better from GPT 3.5 than what we got back from GPT-4. So in terms of length, this is a little bit longer um, than what we got back from GPT-4. GPT-4 was about 500 words, I believe, and this is about 700 words. So you do get a little bit longer content and um, we do get some nice lists. We get um, the content organized in a very um, sensible manner and we get a pretty decent output from GPT-3.5. So as you can see, you can either say that GPT 3.5 is comparable to GPT 4, and in some cases, it's even better than GPT 4. And this is really interesting because a couple of weeks ago, GPT 4 was way better at GPT 3.5. And when GPT 4 first came out, I thought that it was able to give us much better outputs and much longer outputs compared to what I'm getting right now. I have to do a lot more prompting and combining of GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 to be able to get high quality, long outputs when I'm creating blog posts or articles. So we can definitely see a big degradation in the quality of GPT-4 and a big improvement in GPT-3.5. So now let's go ahead and run some other tasks and see how GPT-3.5 compares to GPT-4. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to test the extraction 
uh, performance between both of these models so i'm gonna paste in an article about why sleep is important and ask both of them to extract the main information from this article so i've changed the prompt a little bit i've asked it to extract the main information from this article but take that information and create your own unique plagiarism free blog post and write in markdown so this was what we were able to get back from gpd 3.5 so as you can see here it is pretty long i think i can click continue and it should be able to write me more content yep so it is uh continuing to write more content okay so we get a pretty long blog post here from gpd 3.5 now let's go ahead and do the same thing for gpd4 this is the output that we got back from gpd4 using the same prompt um as you can see it's a lot shorter very very concise compared to gpd 3.5 here so we can see that there's a real difference in the output length and the quality of output that we're getting back from gpd4 versus gpd 3.5 again i don't know exactly what is going on again this is gpd um, 3.5 as you can see here they were able to write a much much longer article of course you'd want to go ahead and read through it to make sure everything makes sense and it's not plagiarized but just from taking a bird's eye view, we can see that this is much more in depth and it was able to read the instructions that we gave it much better than GPT-4. GPT-4 kind of just listed um, a couple of different points that were probably mentioned in that article and just a couple of sentence right after that, which is not anything near um, to a blog post that we're looking for. I do like the format of GPT-4. It is formatted pretty nicely, but again, um, the quality of the content is much better with GPT 3.5. Lastly, I've asked both models to create a table using this information, and this is GPT 3.5. And as you can see here, it was able to create us a couple of different tables about the information from this blog post. So we get the benefits of sleep, and we had a description, stages of sleep, description, recommended hours of sleep, um, and a age group there. So this is actually really, really nice. I like that they were able to create multiple um, tables while GPT-4 did create us a pretty nice table. It's only sort of on one, um, one data set or one um, information around that uh, blog post. So again, we see here GPT-3.5 being really, really smart and being able to give us more information than what we even asked for, but still being able to give us more relevant information than GPT-4. So again, I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but I'll continue to test GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 to see which one is better for specific use cases. Let me know in your experience, which one is currently best suited for your needs and which one you're currently using. I hope that this is just temporary and GPT-4 is able to become as good as it was before and even better moving forward. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.